we announced another undersea cable between Los Angeles and Hong Kong, which is another 120 terabits per second. Now to give your audience an idea of what that actually means, that means that you could run up to 80 million concurrent live HD streams at the same time. Rick Harshman is the Asia Pacific Managing Director for Google's cloud platform. Rick previously spent six years at Amazon Web Services and co-chairs the ICT Committee at the American Chamber of Commerce in Singapore. He joins us now on Cloud News TV. Rick, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Now, your experience of cloud technology in the APAC and Japan is absolutely unparalleled. So what do you think the primary reasons are that make this region the center for global growth in IoT, FinTech and in robotics? Yeah, well, it's a great question. I mean, one of the things is that that's really a global trend in those three key areas. But what makes Asia unique is that the amount of investment that not only individual companies are making, but also governments to be prepared for this big expansion around robotics, IoT, and fintech. And so when you think about it, you take a country like Japan as an example. They're actually investing in computer science down into the elementary level, where they're wanting people to be prepared for the future. Take Indonesia, for example. We're actually in Google's actually actually working with Indonesia and the Indonesian government to train up a number of Android developers by 2020 so they're prepared for the future. So Rick, what impact will the exponential growth of video have on global networks and CDNs? Sure, that's a great question. So we're going to continue to see an explosion of video growth, whether it's from Indonesia or Vietnam or the Philippines or India. You're going to continue to see that, especially in Asia, because you've got so many people coming online because of the age demographics. Yeah. Now, how do we adjust that? Well, a company like Google, we're investing in undersea cables to be able to provide the best network we can. So there's two big investments that we've recently made. One, we ran an undersea cable from the US West over to Japan connects onwards to Taiwan, which is about 60 terabits per second of connectivity. Then just today we announced another undersea cable between Los Angeles and Hong Kong, which is another 120 terabits per second. Now to give your audience an idea of what that actually means, that means that you could run up to 80 million concurrent live HD streams at the same time. So it's just an unbelievable amount of investment. So when you talk about that growth, yes, that's going to be there, but we're investing ahead of that growth. This is absolutely extraordinary. Um, what are the primary concerns of enterprises when transferring legacy infrastructure systems to cloud-based solutions? And what would you say to CIOs to alleviate their concerns? Yeah, it's really been an evolution over the last six to seven years. I mean, initially it went, oh, what's cloud? Or I don't think I'm going to go cloud to how do I go cloud to show me how to go cloud. And so that evolution's really been there. And now with CIOs, they're saying, we're going to go cloud in some way, shape, or form. The two biggest things that CIOs are really thinking about is how can you help me be more secure and fundamentally cloud is absolutely more secure than you could do it yourself here at Google we have over 600 security experts alone focused on cloud and that's often bigger than most companies their entire staff we have 600 security staff alone in our cloud the second thing is um, the focus on change management companies want to make sure that they work with a partner that helps them get through this change management and this digital transformation they're going through and they've got to be able to work with a a company that helps them with that. So when people ask us about the Google Cloud, what are the things that differentiate, differentiate and why would they start working with us? One is that we're open and flexible. They want to be able to work with someone that's open and flexible. Two, there's no contracts, no commitments to get started. So they want to be make sure that if it works for us, we're going to continue onwards. If it doesn't work for whatever reason, we want to be able to walk away. So having that flexibility on the contract piece. And the third is that innovation. How much are you going to be able to continue to innovate so we can focus on our core competency as a business? Now, Rick, how does the talent pool in the ASEAN region compare to other high-growth tech communities around the globe? Yeah, I mean, the big thing is, and as I mentioned earlier, that it's not just about individual companies with the talent pool, but it's about the future. And the amount of investment that's going into education, especially into sciences and the computer sciences and math, is unparalleled really globally. I mean, when you think about what ASEAN and specifically Singapore and Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand, Philippines are making from those investments and the STEM programs, it really is unparalleled compared to the rest of the world. And in terms of disruptive technology, what do you think is going to be the next 
big thing? Sure. Um, well, we're, we're really excited. I'm very excited about machine learning. So uh, machine learning is something that Google has been using for our own services and hopefully services that you know and love like search or YouTube or um, photos. We've been using machine learning internally for our service for a number of years. But what we've done is we've now externalized those services from a machine learning perspective so other companies can start taking advantage of those. So I'm really excited to see what use cases companies come up with from a machine learning perspective. And Rick, just one very last question. What would you say to those individuals who haven't been able to attend Cloud Expo Asia today and are thinking of coming next year? What would you say to those individuals? I would say, look, it's a great conference and come and enjoy yourself. Absolutely. Rick, thank you ever so much. Pleasure to have you on. That's Rick Harshman from Google speaking to us here. I'm Emma Boyle and this is Cloud Moves TV.